Dana White has come out and said that he helped broker a deal for Tom Brady to play for the Las Vegas Raiders back in 2020. But the head coach at the time, John Gruden, he nixed the deal. Here's Dana White. I worked to put that deal together for Brady and Gronk to come to the Raiders. And it was almost a done deal. And at the last minute, Gruden blew the deal up and said that he didn't want him. And Whoa. Whoa. all hell broke loose, man. It was crazy. And, and, and Brady was already looking at houses, and it wasn't being said yet that Gronk was coming. So Las Vegas would have had Brady and Gronk the year that the Bucs won the Super Bowl, except Gruden blew the deal up. And there's so much story that goes along with this behind the scenes. And I, I, I was never going to tell that story till Gronk just said it. That was UFC 278 with the Gronks on ESPN+. Plus. Keyshawn, what do you make of this story that Dana White had brokered a deal to get Brady and Gronk to the Raiders? Brokered a deal with who, though? If you didn't broker it with it, with uh, you didn't broker it with the head coach who's running the organization who nixed the deal, it, who did you broker it with? Because were you brokering it with Brady and Gronk? Because sounds like John Gruden was never on board to begin with. So I don't know who Dana White's brokering with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Harry, is it is it a deal? If it's not a deal, like if the Raiders say no, then did you actually no, broker it's John, a deal? No, it's John who says no. Remember, John. Have full autonomy and exactly. running everything. That's right. So right. if you were not talking directly to John, then who were you talking to that get brokered a deal? Well, but he, is it he is said, it crazy that John that, didn't want him? Didn't he say that John John Gruden said no to the deal? Yeah. So yes. essentially, the Raiders said no. So Dana White saying, "Hey, I brokered a deal to get Brady and Gronk." To Keyshawn's point. Harry, like, who are you brokering it with then? Who's on the other side of that deal? Yeah, because the Raiders said no, so the deal wasn't obviously a done <laughs> yeah, deal by any means. Thing. It was just an idea that got <laughs> floated out there by Dana yeah, White and I, Gronk is kind of what I got a lot like. of great deals that I can float out there. Me and Harry going to play with with um, <laughs> with Matt Ryan in Indianapolis right now. We getting ready to come out of retirement and go play with him. Matt wants us. He wants us, but does Chris Ballard and Frank Wright want us? That's just, you know, it's is just Jim like. Ursay? I'm not even sure Matt wants yeah, y'all. I got to be honest you, not at this point. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. I get it. It would have been great. Gronk fits perfect into Man. the UFC, the WWE, all the other stuff. He, he would be great in it. I mean, it Vegas life. Here comes Gronk. In the, he's going to live Vegas. I get it. It looks good. It would have been great to have Raider fans get excited about it. But in the, in the end, I think John Gruden felt good about his quarterback in car, regardless if Tom Brady had an eye in living in Vegas or not. Well, th- th- that's, that's what I want to ask you, though, Key, and Amber, you too. When you see Derek Carr, right, but you have an opportunity, there's a possibility that you can get uh, Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, a guy who's won seven Super Bowls. At the time, it would have been six Super Bowls. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.